English speaking course. Public transportation. <laughs> hey, Brian, did you catch the subway time? Yeah, it should be here in three minutes. Oh, look at that crowd over there. What's happening? Let's check it out before our train arrives. Wow, they're really good. Look at those moves. I know, right? I wish I could dance like that. Uh oh, our train. Missed it by a second. Now we have to wait. Hey, look on the bright side. More time to enjoy the show. You're right. Hey, isn't that your boss over there watching too? What? Oh no, it is. And he's starting to dance. This is priceless. Who knew he had those moves? <laughs> I'll never look at Monday meetings the same way again. Looks like our train is coming. This time, let's not miss it. Agreed. But first, let's take a quick video of the boss. For memories, of course. Good idea. This will be a great story for the office. Hanging out with friends. Hey, Jenna. Are you free this weekend? Want to hang out? Yeah, I'd love to. What do you have in mind? How about a picnic in the park? We could bring some food and enjoy the weather. That sounds great. I can bring some sandwiches and fruit. Perfect. I'll bring some drinks and snacks. Maybe we can play frisbee too. I'm terrible at frisbee, but it'll be fun to try. Should we invite others? Sure, the more the merrier. I'll text some of our friends and see who's available. Great. Oh, and don't forget to bring sunscreen. It's supposed to be sunny. Good call. I'll pack some extra just in case. Do you think we should bring something for a picnic game, like a ball or a kite? A kite sounds fun. I haven't flown one in years. Let's do it. I'll bring my camera too. We can take some cool photos from memories. Sounds like a plan. I'm really looking forward to it, Jenna. Me too, Tyler. It's going to be a fun day. This spot is perfect. I'm so glad we decided to do this. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Oops, I think I forgot the frisbee. No worries. We can just relax and enjoy the food. Hey, what's that over there? Looks like a squirrel. And it's coming this way. Oh no, it's after our sandwiches. Shoo, shoo. Too late. It grabbed one. That squirrel has taste. Well, there goes my specially made sandwich. Goodbye, lunch. Don't worry. We have plenty of other snacks. How about some fruit? Sounds good. Watch out for the fruit thieving squirrels, though. Watching movies. I watched the saddest movie last night, Peter. I think I've never cried so much in my life. Oh, Alex. Was it really that sad, or is this about your breakup? Both. Every scene reminded me of my own life. <laughs> I even <laughs> cried when the character missed the bus. <laughs> Missing a bus is sad, but not that sad. Maybe you're just extra emotional right now? I was a mess. I even sobbed when the main character's plant died. A plant, Peter. 
Well, that's a bit of an overreaction. But hey, everyone has those days. And the music, it was so touching. I felt like my heart was being pulled out of my chest. Maybe stick to comedies for a while. Sad movies don't seem to be your thing right now. Good point. I even found myself crying over the movie Snacks. Who cries over popcorn? You're breaking new emotional ground, Alex. But seriously, let's watch something light-hearted next time. Maybe a comedy about someone who overreacts to everything. I could relate to that right now. You'll bounce back, Alex. Movies are supposed to make us feel, just maybe not all at once. Yeah, I'll get there. Next time, we're watching a comedy, and I'll keep the tears for onions only. Well, that's the spirit. And I'll bring extra tissues, just in case you find the comedy too moving. Listening to music. Emily, I heard a song today, and it just, it reminded me so much of Sarah. Oh, James, that must have been hard. Sarah loved her music. It was her song, you know? The one she always played when we were kids. It brought back so many memories. I remember. She would turn it up and dance around the house. She had such a bright spirit. Yeah, <laughs> she did. Even when she got sick, she never lost her love for that song. She was so strong all through her battle with cancer. Hearing it today, it just made me feel like she was right there with me again. She's always with us, James, in those songs and in our hearts. I know. It's just... Sometimes I miss her so much it hurts. It's okay to miss her, James. She was a beautiful part of our lives. Remembering her keeps her spirit alive. You're right. I'll always cherish those memories and that song. It's a piece of her that stays with me. That's beautiful, James. She'd be happy knowing how much she's loved and remembered. Thank you, Emily. Talking about her like this, it's healing in a way. Anytime, James. She's our angel now, watching over us. Gardening I tried gardening this weekend. It was harder than I thought. Oh, really? What did you try to grow? I wanted to start with something easy, so I chose carrots. But they didn't grow. Carrots can be tricky. Did you plant them deep enough? I think so. I'm not sure. I just followed the instructions on the packet. Sometimes it's about the soil and sunlight, too. They need the right conditions. That makes sense. Oh, and I got some strange looks from my neighbors. Why? Were you talking to your plants again? Maybe. I heard it helps them grow. It might. Gardening is full of little surprises like that. I'll give it another try. Maybe with less chatting and more focusing on the basics. That's the spirit. And if you have questions, I'm here to help. Thanks, Sarah. Wow, Ben, your garden looks amazing. You've really done a great job here. Thanks, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without your tips. But look at these tomatoes. They're still so small. They just need some more time. Tomatoes can be a bit slow to grow. And what about these carrots? 
they look a bit weird. Carrots can grow in funny shapes, especially if the soil is hard. I think I didn't loosen the soil enough. Well, next time I'll know better. That's the spirit. Oh, and your herb section looks wonderful. Going to the gym. The gym is bigger than I expected. Where should we start? Let's warm up on the treadmills over there. Sounds good. I hope I don't fall off. I'm a bit clumsy on these things. Just start slow and find your balance. You'll get the hang of it quickly. Phew, that was a good warm-up. What's next? How about some weight training? There are some free weights over there. Sure, but I don't know much about lifting weights. Can you show me? Of course. Let's start with some light dumbbells and focus on proper form. Am I doing this right? Yes, that's perfect. Keep your back straight and lift with your arms. Wow, I can already feel the burn. This is tougher than I thought. That's normal. It means your muscles are working. Want to try a machine next? Sure. Which one do you recommend? Let's go for the leg press. It's great for building strength in your legs. How many of these should I do? Aim for three sets of ten reps. Just make sure not to overdo it. Got it. This gym thing is actually quite fun. Thanks for showing me around, Lisa. You're welcome, Mike. It's always more enjoyable with a workout buddy. Online shopping. Can't believe the midnight sale is tonight. Got your shopping list ready, Sarah? All set, Tyla. I've bookmarked the pages for a quick checkout. What about you? I'm ready, too. I've set reminders so I won't miss the start time. Smart move. I'm planning to shop for electronics, hoping to score a good deal on a new phone. Me, too. I'm also looking for a smartwatch. Do you think the prices will drop much? From past sales, they usually do. Just be quick. Popular items sell out fast. We'll keep that in mind. Also, I'll be checking for coupons. They can save us some extra money. Good idea. How do you plan to pay? I'm thinking of using my rewards card for extra points. I'll use my credit card. It has purchase protection, which is useful for online shopping. That's smart. Hey, do you think we should stay online together? We can alert each other if we find good deals. Great idea. Let's team up. It'll be more fun and efficient that way. Perfect. We'll conquer this sale. I'm so excited. Me too. We're going to have a successful midnight shopping spree. All right. Let's get our coffee ready. It's going to be a long night. Can't wait to see what deals we find. Sarah, I got the iPad, and it was such a good deal. That's awesome, Tyler. I managed to get the kitchen gadgets and the dress I wanted. We did it! It feels great to get what we wanted and save money, too. Absolutely. I can't believe how smooth it went. Your reminders and tips were helpful. Teamwork makes the dream work. I can't wait for our next shopping adventure. Me too. Let's definitely do this again. I can't wait to show you what I got. Visiting the doctor. Hey Josh, I have a doctor's appointment later today. I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, Emily. Is it just a regular checkup? 
Yes, but I always get anxious about these things. What if they find something wrong? It's normal to feel that way, but regular checkups are important for staying healthy. You're right. I know it's important. I just wish I wasn't so worried about it. Maybe you can take a book or listen to some music while you wait. It might help you relax. That's a good idea. I'll bring my headphones. And remember, doctors are there to help you. It's good to ask questions if you're unsure about anything. I'll keep that in mind. I guess I just need to stay calm and think positive. Exactly. Let me know how it goes, okay? I'm sure everything will be fine. Good afternoon, Dr. Lee. I'm here for my checkup. Good afternoon, Emily. How have you been feeling lately? I've been feeling okay, just a little stressed with work. Stress can affect your health. Make sure to take some time to relax. Now, let's check your blood pressure. Okay, Dr. Lee. I've also been exercising regularly. That's excellent. Regular exercise is very important. Do you have any other concerns? Not really. I just wanted to make sure everything is okay. Everything looks good so far. Let's do a quick checkup, and I'll let you know if there's anything to be aware of. Thank you, Dr. Lee. I appreciate your help. You're welcome, Emily. Remember, taking care of your health is always important. Call us if you have any questions later on. I will. Thanks again, Dr. Lee. Have a good day. You too, Emily. Take care. Reading books. Sophie, I finished a book last night that was so good. It kept me up late. What book was it? I'm always looking for something interesting to read. It's called The Secret of the Old House. It's a mystery story with a big surprise at the end. That sounds intriguing. Are there any scary parts? I get scared easily. A few, but they're not too bad. The story is more exciting than scary. I might give it a try, then. I like a good mystery. How long did it take you to read it? About a week. The chapters are short and easy to read, perfect for reading a little each night. That's nice. I don't have much time during the day, so a little at night sounds perfect. Exactly. And the story makes you think. I kept trying to guess the ending. Did you guess it right? Not even close. The ending was a total surprise. That's what I loved about it. I'm getting curious now. You'll have to lend it to me when I finish my current book. Definitely. It's fun to share books and talk about them afterwards. Yes, it is. Talking about books adds so much to the reading experience. And next time, we could even try reading the same book at the same time. Like a mini book club. That's a great idea. We can discuss the chapters as we go. It'll be fun. Eating healthy. Hey, Chloe, what's in your lunchbox? It smells great. It's my homemade quinoa salad with lots of veggies. Quinoa? I've heard it's healthy. I usually just have a sandwich. It's really nutritious and not hard to make. I'm trying new healthy recipes lately. That's cool. I should probably start eating better too. Any tips? Sure. Start with small changes, like adding more fruits and veggies to your meals. I see. Maybe I'll switch my potato chips for carrot sticks. That's a great start. Also, drinking more water helps a lot. I'll keep that in mind. What about sweets? I love chocolate. You can still enjoy them, just in moderation. 
Maybe try dark chocolate? Sounds like a plan. Do you meal prep on weekends? Yes, it saves a lot of time during the week. Plus, it keeps me from buying junk food. That's smart. Maybe I can join you one weekend to learn some recipes. Absolutely. It's more fun to cook together. We could make a healthy lunch for the office. Great idea. I look forward to it, Chloe. You're welcome, Jack. Eating healthy is a journey we can take together. Daily Habit Hey, Alex. What's your favorite part of the day? Morning, for sure. I love starting my day with a jog. What about you? I'm more of a night person. Reading a book before bed is my thing. Sounds relaxing. Do you read any specific type of books? Mostly novels. Fantasy ones are my favorite. Cool. I usually listen to music during my morning jog. It keeps me energized. What kind of music do you listen to? I'm into rock and pop mostly. It varies, though. Nice. So, any other daily habits? Well, I never miss my morning coffee. It's a must. I get that. A good book and a cup of tea at night work for me. Do you follow a strict routine every night? Not always. Sometimes I just relax and watch a movie. Movies are great. I watch them while having dinner. Any favorite genre? Action and comedy mostly. They're fun and exciting. I prefer dramas and documentaries. Interesting. Do you have a morning routine as well? Yes, a quick workout and a healthy breakfast keeps me going all day. That's impressive. I should add a workout to my routine too. Definitely. It's a great way to start the day. Thanks for the tip, Chloe. I'll try that tomorrow. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes. Grocery shopping. Anna, can you believe it? I went grocery shopping and forgot the list at home. Oh no, Rachel. Did you remember anything you needed? Just a few things, but I bought way too many snacks instead. Classic mistake. Did you at least get the milk and bread? Milk, yes. But I forgot the bread and got cookies. Cookies aren't a bad substitute for bread, right? Maybe in your world, Anna. I can't make sandwiches with cookies. True. Well, did you remember to buy coffee? No, but I got tea. I guess it's tea week for us. A week of tea and cookies. Sounds like a British sitcom. I just hope we don't run out of snacks too soon. Next time, I'll go with you. We can make a dramatic grocery adventure. That sounds like a plan. Let's hope we don't forget the list again. And maybe we should avoid the snack aisle. It's too tempting. Agreed. But let's still get some cookies for emergency dessert purposes. Emergency dessert, the most important meal of the day. Exactly. Next time, we'll be more organized, hopefully. With our track record, we'll see about that. Using social media. So, Taylor, the first step is to open the YouTube app or website. Then you can browse or search for videos. I'm on the app now. There's a lot here. How do I find videos I like? Try searching for a topic you're interested in, like travel or cooking. The search bar is at the top. Okay, I searched for travel. There are so many videos. 
you can watch any video by just clicking on it. And if you like the channel, you can subscribe to it. Subscribing means I'll see their new videos in my feed? Exactly. Subscribing helps you keep up with the channels you like. You'll get notifications for new videos. Can I save videos to watch later? Yes, you can add videos to your watch later list or create your own playlists. How do I do that? Below each video, there's an Add To button. Click it to add the video to a playlist or your watch later list. Oh, I see it. That's really useful. What about sharing videos with friends? You can share by clicking the Share button under the video. You can send the link through social media, email, or even text. That's cool. And if I like a video, is there a way to show that? Yes, you can like a video by clicking the thumbs up icon. You can also leave comments if you have questions or want to join the conversation. That's great. I think I'm going to enjoy using YouTube. Thanks for showing me how, Chris. Taking care of pets. Hey, Alex, over here. Max and I are playing fetch. Hi, Jordan. Max looks like he's having a lot of fun. Such a cute dog. Thanks. He loves running around in the park. Do you come here often? Yeah, I like to jog here sometimes. It's nice to be outdoors. Definitely. Max needs his exercise too. He has so much energy. How old is Max now? He's just turned two. Still acts like a puppy though. He's really friendly. Does he like playing with other dogs? Oh yes, he's very sociable. He makes friends easily at the dog park. I've been thinking about getting a dog too. Any advice? Make sure you have the time and space for one. And lots of patience for training. Good point. I'll think about it more. It's great to see you and Max enjoying the park. Thanks, Alex. Maybe we can have a jog here together sometime. That sounds like a plan. Dealing with stress. Hey, Mark. I've been feeling really stressed lately. How do you manage stress? When I'm stressed, I find exercise really helps. Have you tried going for a walk or a run? I do walk sometimes, but maybe I should make it a regular thing. Definitely. Also, have you tried meditation or yoga? They can be very relaxing. I've heard about them but never really tried. Do they work? Yes, they do for many people. It's all about finding what works for you. I'll give them a try. What about when work gets really busy? Taking short breaks and prioritizing tasks can be helpful. Don't forget to breathe and take things one step at a time. That sounds good. Maybe I need to manage my time better. Time management is key. And remember, it's okay to ask for help if you're feeling overwhelmed. Thanks, Mark. I'll try these tips. It's good to have someone to talk to about this. Anytime, Anna. We all need a little support now and then. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.